The man most in the midst of the San Francisco music scene is critic Ralph J. Gleason. In his syndicated newspaper columns, Mr. Gleason has been the foremost interpreter of the sounds coming out of what he calls the Liverpool of the United States. Mr. Gleason believes the San Francisco rock groups are making a serious contribution to musical history. In the last year and a half, San Francisco has literally exploded with music. The rock bands are some of the most interesting bands in the country, and one of the most exciting and interesting bands in San Francisco these days is the Grateful Dead. We're talking to the Grateful Dead, particularly to Jerry Garcia, the lead guitarist. Jerry, what kind of music does the Grateful Dead play? <laughs> loud. <laughs> loud music. Loud uh, music. Dance music for dances at dances. <laughs> Where does it come from? Do you write it all your songs? Uh, no. <laughs> We, uh, we write some we of it. We steal it from a lot of places. Yeah, we steal it from a lot of places. As many as that's, we can find, as a matter of fact. We're clever thieves. And uh, we're clever thieves. Steal it from a lot of places and uh, rearrange it. Sort of it. like the Baroque era. Yeah. Do you have any particular bank vaults of music that you raid periodically? Uh, old blues. Um, new blues. Uh, jug band. Jug band music. Uh, uh, we've been getting into uh, stealing classical licks. And uh, jazz, anything. anything. You don't that sound like other bands. Why is this? Well, because uh, <laughs> because we're not other bands. We're the Grateful Dead, and uh, we've been together for long enough to where we uh, are used enough to each other to be able to play together. Yeah. <laughs> even when you take even when you take old tunes or tunes that uh, uh, have old influences in them, you still don't sound like the originals. You sound no, because like because that's not who we are. We're not. We're not trying to recreate anything. Uh, do you change them around? Oh, freely, freely. To them? freely. Uh, that, like I say, any any one song could have lots of stuff in it from lots of different sources, but it always comes out uh, nothing like the original, and and also nothing like anything else. <laughs> electronically, do you do you work at things electronically for different sounds and devices? We're getting into it more than we have been. Uh, we've been mostly just uh, working on getting better at our instruments. And uh, the electronic stuff is stuff that you discover playing at enormous volumes that you play at in the big auditoriums. Mm-hmm. And pretty soon your guitar is feeding back and, and there's this insane sound coming out of it, you know. And uh, uh, you find that by fiddling around the right way, you can control it to a certain extent. And uh, that becomes part of uh, the way you play. You use this in the way oh, you sure. can. Yeah. So you can't you can't not if you ignore it it just gets louder and louder <laughs> <laughs> it takes over the entire yeah, thing <laughs> do you write things out in arrangements that you're going to do um sometimes we do and sometimes we don't only if the record company insists right if the record company insists then, then, then uh <laughs> do you do them the same way time after time when you play them uh i don't think so there are a few that are more or less the same most of the time um, in general contour, you might say. Right. But the events inside of them are always the same. And, and the, the thing that we really like is when it's not, you know, when something new suddenly happens and we're, we're suddenly <laughs> playing differently than we used to. You know, it's just this, this sort of uh, evolutionary stuff goes on. What kind of thing can tick that off in the course of playing a tune? Uh, playing it long enough. Good vibes. Playing it long enough, yeah, and a, and a good situation, you know, a lot of feedback from the audience, and, and uh, you know, dancing and and uh, you know, playing in the big big auditoriums is conducive to that. Well, things that you have done yourself in music will will suggest themselves to you at various points in playing a tune, an individual performance, uh, or your serial composer will uh, come up with some. Uh, yeah, that's that's mm-hmm. kind of what happens. It's just all of a sudden, you know, uh, another possibility reveals itself to mm-hmm. our wondering eyes and. And uh, and ears. Or somebody will play something, and it suggests another place to go. Right. Change the whole tune. Right. Uh, yeah. We like to let it go as far as it will go. What what song are you going to play for us? Uh, a song called Cream Puff War. Did you write this? Uh, yeah, I wrote this particular song. <laughs> it's the only song I've ever written completely all the way. It's my song. <laughs> and it steals from all those places. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, this, just the actual song, the <laughs> melody and the words, but the rest of it is uh, to the extent that all of us in our own playing steal from everywhere. Right. Okay, let's hear it. Okay. All right. 